Upon his return to Britain in 1948, the controversial filmmaker Sir Leslie Quint invested in a luxury apartment on Wardour Street, London, where he began to host ostentatious parties. I, I, I don't like to, to, to say there were illegal substances there, but you've got to remember it was a different time, and we didn't know what was legal and what wasn't, um, which is why at my parties you could make love to one person and punch another person and nobody batted an eyelid. Eager to explore his earlier love of film, Leslie began to make low-grade documentaries. At this time, barriers were being knocked down, and uh, I made a, a, a documentary about a family having a picnic on a beach, and yes, they were naked, uh, but there's so much misery attached to, to being naked, and, and I wanted to show the world that actually being naked can be rather fun. But Leslie's documentaries found an audience very different to the one that he'd intended. It is true that uh, my documentaries were only shown in uh, private screening rooms in Soho. And yes, it's true that the clientele were, were very specific. Um, but it's all art, isn't it? Even greater success was just around the corner after a chance encounter with the legendary producer Anthony Makepeace. I told him about my ideas for films and, well, he was gripped. And that's when he came up with the idea, actually, um, that he thought I should make a, a period classic. Uh, and, I, and I said, uh, I, I'd love to make a love story. Um, and that's how Robinson Crusoe was born. Though a popular hit, Leslie's adaptation of Daniel Defoe's Robinson Crusoe remains controversial to this day. Well, you've got to draw in your crowd, haven't you? And uh, when I read the novel, I saw the, the powerful love between Robinson and whatever his name was, and, 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 and that's why in the finished film there were so many cuddles between the two male leads. But the critics rounded upon Leslie. I do recall one instance where I was actually attacked by a critic um, who's dead now. I, I was in a party and I was trying to disassociate myself from a hullabaloo involving a woman, and I heard this voice behind me, uh, Mr. Quint! And I turned round, and I was punched squarely in the mouth. And, uh, well, where I come from, if someone punches you squarely in the mouth, they obviously want some more. So we tussled, and I think we fought for over an hour. And after that, I, I realized that perhaps it was time to move on. And where better to start a new life than the United States of America? Thank you.